Today is my birthday. Well, you'll be watching this on Tuesday, so yesterday was my birthday. But we're not here to talk about my birthday. It just reminded me that the last time I filmed a tour video was around my birthday. So it's been a year and a lot's happened, a lot's changed, so I wanted to give you a quick update. So we're gonna take a quick tour around what is, as far as I know, the only studio dedicated solely to the photography and videography of tarantula spiders and other inverts and arachnids and reptiles and amphibians and all that. And just so you know, like this is gonna be kind of raw. I didn't clean up and make everything look perfect or anything like that. You're just gonna kind of see what the natural working conditions are. Actually, it's probably a little cleaner than normal because I've spent the first part of this month just organizing and cleaning and, and trying to get everything set up so it works a little bit better, but it's still kind of messy. So let's check out the Tarantula Collective. So we're gonna start off in the hallway leading up to the collective where I've recently hung some photos here. These are drawings by Grego's Creation that she has sent me. And I also have a little bit of my photography up here. And then we got some more drawings from Grey Ghost, just kind of a way to welcome people into the collective. You come up to the front door, and I just recently received this in the mail. It was a very cool kind of placard, 3D printed. And now we'll come into the collective. This is the, uh, well, it used to be the lobby, if you watched last year's video. Now this is just my office. So you kind of walk in, we've got the massive day gecko enclosure. The day gecko is just kind of hanging out right there. Uh, we've got the tree frog hanging out back here. And just the whole enclosure itself, it's still thriving. It's doing really well. <laughs> I got this cool uh, poster up here on the wall. I am really digging that. I got that from Arachno Gear. Uh, it's an Insects of the World poster. Uh, over here, we've got some plaques, things of that nature. Um, and then we've got a smaller day gecko enclosure. Uh, this is the tree frog enclosure. And then down here, we've got millipedes and the axolotl set up. Now that's about to change. Uh, we'll be doing a video on that soon. Got some more photos here, or posters I should say, from uh, Arachno Gear. Uh, we got the guitar and some books and just a little, a lot of sound absorption, uh, TV. And then coming around, we got some more posters. Uh, these are the Theraphosidae uh, 1869 posters, also from Arachno Gear, and the messy computer desk. And then kind of coming over here is the computer, so I do all the editing, podcasts, interviews, stuff like that. Um, just kind of a little hangout spot. It's pretty much somewhere to sit to uh, watch the axolotl. And then this is the workshop. Let me turn on the lights. All right, now this is messy. Now this is a table I just built. We had to kind of redo it because I was, uh, it made the legs way too long. <laughs> it was way too high, but uh, essentially this is uh, for building enclosures. So it's a nice little spot to just kind of make the enclosures that you need. Uh, we got the tools over here, messy workbench. This is a 75 gallon. It's going to be the new axolotl enclosure. I have my calendar that fell off the wall and is just now watered up. <laughs> We've got some wood soaking over here. It looks really gross, but it's it's mainly just a lot of driftwood and stuff like that. Enclosures, enclosures. We've got some spider wood, sphagnum moss. We've got all kinds of uh, substrates and cork bark. That's uh, more storage, but just kind of junk. But then you kind of come through and then this is the Tarantula Collective. We got our like kind of tarantula enclosure building kit here. We've got sphagnum moss, substrate, uh, leaves, like all kinds of cool stuff from the bio dude. This is the isopods. So we've got all kinds of different isopod species here. And uh, they're all set up in their own little enclosures. And it goes all the way down here. These are some of my favorites. Oh, beautiful, beautiful guys. Uh, and this is just uh, set number one. Usually there's a table over here. That's where I film a lot of like unboxing videos and things of that nature. Uh, this is the hangout area, kind of. <laughs> got some drawings for my little girl. She likes to come here and draw, watch some TV. Coming over here, these are the diffusers for macro photography that I use. This is the camera gear. Uh, like it's a, it pretty much keeps things from getting too humid, uh, but I got all the cameras in there. It's so dark, I don't know if you can see it. It's a mess, but those are all the cameras, lenses, uh, mics, things of that nature. And then in here is just kind of a gear closet. Uh, so we've got gimbals, uh, you know, all kinds of different handles and stands and tripods and uh, you name it. You know, like just different monitors and stuff. And then over here is kind of the work tables. This is where I do a lot of uh, like building the rigs, charge the batteries, you know, basic filming stuff. Just kind of somewhere to work. Over here is storage. And then here, oh, that's real bright. These are, this is kind of like the, the 
plants. <laughs> this is where I'm growing plants to use in enclosures. We got some pothos propagating there, things of that nature. Now this is the hot cabinet. I mentioned that in a few videos and it, it's hot for two reasons. One, it's uh, it's it's warm. See, it's got a little uh, a thermostat over here. It's got heat tape on the back. And you open it up and it just kind of keeps everything in here pretty warm. Uh, on the top shelf, we've got bark scorpions. So there's a uh, striped bark scorpion, Florida bark scorpion, and then this is the Arizona bark scorpion, the infamous Arizona bark scorpion. Ah, God, mother fucking syrup. Down here, we've got some more scorpions. So it's not just hot because it's warm, but this is also where I keep uh, pretty much all of the really hot species. I say that as we're looking at Cubaris rubber duckies. <laughs> I got some isopods in here too, just seeing if they do any better uh, in a little warmer environment. But this cabinet, uh, right now it's at 80 degrees. So the room here is about 70. So I like to keep these a little bit warmer. They seem to be thriving pretty well. Right up here, we've got spider beetles and some more tight isopods. We got centipedes. And then down here, we got tarantulas. So we got a Socotra Island blue baboon in here and in there. Uh, but this is actually kind of like she laid an egg sack, so there's a bunch of babies in there as well. Oh, and that's the same with this one here. Also babies. So we got tarantulas here. We got crickets in the blue bin. Back here are some roaches. Those are like the dubias, feeder roaches. This is the cave geckos enclosure. Uh, of course, it's it's hiding. We got some of the ember bee isopods here. Uh, Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And this is the little baby crested gecko I just got when I was in Los Angeles from um, Micro Wilderness and Jay's Wild Exotics or Wild World, you know. We got some tarantulas here. There's the Goliath bird eater. Another monocentrophus about 40. We got some more bird eaters and pamphibia species down here. These are leopard geckos. And then uh, there's a gargoyle enclosure. Kind of passing around the screen there. So the toke gecko is in this enclosure. Gargoyle gecko in this enclosure. And then in here is the Mexican black king snake, which is just a really cool kind of setup. And then down here, I've got a salmon pink bird eater tarantula. Uh, and if you're wondering, that's a misting system for the geckos. I've got a ball python, banana calico ball python named Frank in here. This is the uh, Brooks king snake, the Florida king snake. And then down here, I've got a Pueblin milk snake. And then of course, king snake uh, has been in multiple videos. That's the uh, California king snake. Down here is the Eastern king snake. And then this is Kess and Neelix enclosure. This whole setup was made by Custom Reptile Habitats. They did it black and green just to kind of stick with the theme of <laughs> they were really nice to kind of hook me up with this. And uh, yeah, this is where, where my geckos live. And then over here, we've got tarantulas. This is an entire wall of tarantulas. And as soon as I said that, I realized it's not all tarantulas. There are a few true spiders, but we got some beauties in here. This is a Canthoscuria geniculata. For the most part, I keep the arboreals on top, terrestrials in the middle, and then fossorials on the bottom, but it doesn't always work out that way. I do have some terrestrials on the bottom as well. But yeah, these are just all the different tarantulas we have. Right here, I've got some curtain web spiders. I got one here and another one there. And a cool little Peruvian. Oh, she just kicked hairs at me. <laughs> I was gonna show her, but uh, she's not feeling that. Tarantulas, tarantulas, tarantulas. Oh, look, we got curly hairs. Checking it out. So beautiful. Ooh, there's a Hostilotheria metallica. And then over here, this is the spiderling nursery. Got a whole video on that. Uh, a lot of people have seen that. And then there, there's some brown widows, black widows, arisus spiders, or arisus spiders, and mainly, mostly tarantulas. Just little baby tarantulas. Over here, we got some flightless fruit flies. This is a um, bug factory. Essentially, it's a, it's a really neat way to kind of propagate or have an endless feeding supply of mealworms. And we got a random Pamphibetus tarantula here, just doesn't fit on the shelf yet. This is the diving beetles aquarium, uh, but pretty 
pretty much they've all died off. There's a few still swimming around in there. It's mainly just ghost shrimp right now, but hopefully we'll be getting some more in the future. This is my Arizona desert enclosure. In here, we've got an Arizona desert hairy scorpion. Uh, and there's also some blue death fanning beetles and some other ironclad beetles, just a bunch of desert beetles. But right now, apparently nobody is out. But it's a really cool enclosure. It's all bioactive. Uh, it's got some of that exoterra stone desert sand in there, some biodu terra arnea, and just all kinds of little succulents and desert plants. Now this is also somewhere where I do some filming. I usually will have the camera over on this side, so you kind of have that as a backdrop, but you know, there's the stand. This is like the feeding cart. Man, it is really a mess, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's what we kind of use to push around to feed and water all the tarantulas, uh, as well as all the other animals in here. It's got a little magnetic bar on there. Try to keep track of the tongs. Doesn't really work, but you know, we try. And it's got things like a digital uh, laser thermometer, and these cool things, I don't know if I put these in a video yet, but so I got these while I was in London. There's these, these cool little tubes. I kind of got some ventilation on either side and then this just kind of comes off. So you can put the tarantula in there and then cap it back on. And then there's another cap that comes off on this end. And then you can use that to kind of get the tarantula to go out the other way. I've got a few different ones, different sizes. Now over here is the photo studio, kind of. Uh, it's like a set. Um, it's all black right now. Pull this down. So that's like the white background. Uh, we got a key light and some some other nice lights here to kind of, that's where I do a lot of the photography for tarantula crib products, or sometimes we'll, we'll do some photography of tarantulas over here, or pretty much anything that needs done. Uh, again, it is a mess. Uh, this is a little set I built to film and photograph arboreal tarantulas. And this is one of my favorite things here in the, in the collective. It's the coffin bookcase. And this is where a lot of the black widows are, as well as the uh, wandering spiders, huntsman spiders, coffin enclosures. <laughs> it's a uh, pretty cool. And then this is the main stage for filming. This right here is just some of the stone desert from Exoterra that I use for, you know, photographing isopods or spiders. Makes a cool little setup. It's another little macro photography thing we've got here. This is essentially, you can buy this off Amazon. It's for like painting little models and game pieces and stuff like that. And they come with these little alligator clips that kind of go down in here. So I can set up a little background, put a jumping spider or, you know, velvet spider or a small tarantula or something on this little, this is just moss or you can use a piece of wood or a rock or whatever and get some real cool kind of macro photography with that as a background. And this is the set. This is the kind of the tropical or jungle set. Uh, I've been doing some photography for the new enclosures for tarantula cribs. Uh, they got like a red and pink one. So we got some uh, <laughs> Valentine stuff on here, but uh, normally this is, this is where I'll be filming tarantulas. And then over here is the desert scene. So this could be Arizona desert or pretty much anything. Uh, right now it's set up for a Socotra Island blue baboon. And she is in there. Well, she can't see her right now, but I got this specifically made from tarantula cribs, which is very cool. Essentially, it's just an enclosure, but the bottom kind of comes off like the top does. So it's like down in here and then I can just lift it up and film, but I might cut that out. I don't want you guys to know that. But one way that I can kind of make this work uh, with all the enclosures and stuff in the background is these. These are just uh, curtains that I installed. I got some here and some there and they will just close all the way around. So it's just like a, a little, make it like a little tiny dark room <laughs> out of the curtains. But yeah, so that is the Tarantula Collective. Uh, I got all the animals all around the sides and uh, then kind of in the middle is where we do all the photography and videography. And then is where we be lazy and, and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Tarantula Collective in 2024. Um, I don't really invite people over. I don't have like tours or sell tickets or anything like that. So for most people, this is like the only way you're ever going to get a chance to see just because I'm kind of private and it's not just not set up for tours or anything like that. At least not yet. Maybe one day. It's pretty much the same as it was last time. We got some cool banners up here that I had made. So far, it's going really well. So we got a uh, two different, I'm working on two different um, kind of like nature documentaries right now. Uh, one is for the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. The other is for the Theraphosa Blondie or Sturmy. So those will be coming out soon. Keep an eye out for that. And I don't know if you can see back here, but we've got all of the different lights that are just kind of permanently set up, which is real nice that, you know, that they, they're always there. I don't have to worry about, you know, getting stands and, and aiming them and stuff like that. Well, I mean, I guess I got to aim them, but they're always plugged up. They're always ready to go. So I can just simply tell Alexa to turn on the set lights. And bam, it's ready to go. And I'm excited to announce that I won't just be filming these nature documentaries 
on these sets. I mean, that's like the easiest way to do it, of course. But it looks like I will be going to Peru this summer with uh, Tyler from the Spider Shop. We're going to do a Andes to Amazon kind of expedition, a tarantula expedition. And we're gonna be spending 10 days in the jungles of Peru, up in the Andes Mountains, down the Amazon and everywhere in between. Just filming tarantulas and taking photos of different inverts and arachnids and, and things of that nature. So I'm really excited about that. But I hope you enjoyed the tour. And if there's any questions you have, anything you want to know more about, just leave me a comment down below and, and let me know. And I will try to either answer that in a comment or I'll make a whole video about it. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise. And I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>